Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons. Doing a video here to answer a simple question. It appears to be simple. What is a tie line in a boundary survey? So this is a little mix. This video is kind of a mix of boundary surveying know-how and a little bit of CAD standards kind of thrown in. So it's a little bit of both. Uh, I'm going to define what a tie line is at my shop here at RH. Um, your shop may define it a little bit differently, but um, you know, the, the core, the core part of this, I think should apply across different surveying companies. And, uh, it's a good question. What is a tie line? Um, part of the reason that's important is, um, tie lines are a way that we surveyors convey, uh, uh, critical information oftentimes in a, in about a boundary resolution. So it's one of the ways that we kind of indicate how our, uh, resolved boundary solution fits with, with the neighboring parcels and, and other evidence of boundary location, what we call the, the, the boundary matrix, resolved boundary matrix. So tie lines are important, important way we show how our particular survey solution fits in with, with, with neighboring information, kind of fits in with the context. Um, and it, it also can do important things like tie our boundary survey down to, to control points, for example, state plane control points uh, like cores or maybe, maybe a, even a passive mark or passive monument. So it's important to understand what a tie line is and how a tie line is different from other lines in a, in a boundary survey. And it's important if you're a drafter that you understand that because tie lines typically go on their own layer with their own color and their own line type, that kind of thing. So what is a tie line in a boundary survey? I'm gonna go over kind of my four criteria for what makes a line a tie line. And then we'll, we'll talk about an example over here. Okay, so what is a tie line in a boundary survey? It's, it's kind of odd, but I start the definition with what a tie line is not. So a tie line is not a, seg a segment of the subject parcel boundary. Okay, so if, it, if, it, if a line, a curve or a line is a segment of the boundary of the parcel that you're surveying, then in my shop, it's not a tie line. It is a line of the subject parcel and that is different. Okay, so it's not a segment of the subject parcel boundary, number one. Number two, the line represents some kind of measurement. Okay, usually a bearing a distance, it could be only a distance or only a bearing. Uh, but it's usually bearing and a distance. Okay, so it represents a measurement. And then it, it ties to, okay, so we, the other thing you could say is uh, it connects. Okay, so we could, instead of saying tie to, we could say connects. Okay, so it connects control points, property corners, corner monuments, or surveyed lines. Connects those things together, okay? So I'm going to just go through that list again. A control point, a property corner, a property corner monument or a surveyed line. So a tie line ties one or more of those things together, right? At least two, ties at least two of those things together, okay? And then finally, number four, it could be measured. So it could be a measured value, could be a record value, it could uh, have a calculated value or, or a value calculated from record. And when I talk about that, I mean the measurement up here in two. So the bearing and distance could be measured, record, calculated, calculated from record. We use all four of those in my shop. Okay, so any of those could apply. Okay, so let's look at an example here. We've surveyed the lands of Huerta in blue. Okay, these are our property corners. These pink circles here are found monuments. Okay, so we've surveyed the lands of Huerta. So these blue lines here are segments of our subject parcel. They are not tie lines. Okay, so those would not be tie lines. Now, out here we have, let's say, the center line of a, of a couple public roads that bound our parcel. Okay, so these center lines in red Okay, in my shop, those would not be tie lines. Those are going to be right away center line. Okay, and we have a we have a special line type for that. Okay, now these orange lines, these orange lines are in my shop are, are going to go on the GIS parcel line. So they represent a, a, an adjoiner parcel, but but usually if they're on the GIS parcel line, they they have not been surveyed. Okay, so these are not surveyed. Okay, so the brown line here are the tie lines. So let's just walk through some examples of tie lines. So you can see at each of these property corners here, I've, I've tied the property corner out to the center line. Okay, so we've surveyed these center lines in red. Okay, so these brown lines tie my parcel corners to the center line. That's a helpful thing to do. Okay, so those are tie lines. Okay, now you notice down here, this parcel here is not part of the lands that we're surveying. Okay, but this, this corner was important. Let's just say that our parcel, description for our parcel, for the lands of Huerta, is all of this piece minus this square chunk down here in the southeast corner. Okay, well then that, that's gonna be an important part of the boundary resolution. 
you can't survey the lands of Werchter without surveying this corner down here, right? So we want to have tie lines out to that corner, okay? They're surveyed. Now, these lines aren't, aren't on my particular subject parcel in this case, but they are very important. It's very important that we know how this corner fits with these two corners. We're going to do that with tie lines at my shop, okay? So in this example here, this would be an example of a tie line that connects uh, two property corners or two property corner monuments. Okay. These here, these tie lines here are an example of tie lines that tie a property corner to a surveyed line. Okay. And then I, I, if you want, well, we'll add another one in here. I just want to point out, let's just say on these center lines, let's say I found these, these two center line mons are found, this center line mons found. Okay, so these are surveyed, and that's why I can put a tie line out to them. Now, let's just say I didn't find the monument here. This was an SFN down here. Okay, but I can hold this good surveyed record angle. Okay, this line's established. I can show tie lines out to it. Okay, now I'll give you one more example. Uh, let's say we've got a, a down here is a, uh, let's say up here is a control point. Maybe it's a, a city control point. Okay, so we could actually show a tie line down to our property corner. And a lot of jurisdictions, jurisdictions actually make you do this because they're trying to feed their GIS monster. Okay, so these would be tie lines. Okay, so let me just go through a number of the types. So if we're going to say a, a tie line from a corner to a surveyed line is type 1. Okay, so these would be type 1 tie lines. So they're from a corner to a, an established survey line. Okay. Okay, let's say type two is mon to mon. So these would be type two tie lines. Okay, and then let's say control two property corner would be a type three. So these would be type three tie lines. Okay, just, a, just another, again, when you think about our resolution of the lands of Huerta here, we probably want to know how does our resolution of this line fit with this surveyed center line over here. We're going to do that with these two tie lines here, right? Because what we're going to show here, hopefully, is we're going to show... 95 feet measured, let's say it's 95.2 feet record. Okay, what that tells me is, actually, let's say that's, that's record and that's measured. What that tells me is I found, with my boundary resolution, I found this line two-tenths longer than the record, right? So that's an indication of how my surveyed solution fits with the historical information. Same thing up here. Okay, so tie lines are really important. As a, as a surveyor, either reviewing this survey or retracing this survey or using this survey as part of another retracement, I want to know, how did Landon's solution here for the west line of the lands of Huerta fit this center line? We show that with tie lines with these measurement values. Okay. So that's what a tie line is. Just to review, it's a line in your survey that has some kind of measurement that connects important objects, corners, monuments, surveyed lines, control points. It has that measurement value is a record, measured, calculator, calculated record, and it's not on your subject parcel. If it fits all those criteria, it's not a center line or an easement line or a right-of-way line, then in my shop, it's probably a tie line. Okay, so appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, hit subscribe on YouTube, and we'll talk some more about the different types of lines that are in a boundary survey and why they're important. We'll try and do some more videos on, on that subject, but now you know what a tie line is, why they're important, and the different kinds of objects that they connect in a boundary survey.